some uh, voice changes with helium, and now we want to uh, show something else about combustion. I soaked these cloths in a mixture of a combustible material, alcohol, and a non-combustible material, water. We're going to light them and have you observe what happens, and actually we want you more to be concerned with what isn't happening. And maybe they... Uh, Well, we see a lot of flames, but uh, you may also notice the cloth itself doesn't seem to be affected. Well, how can this be? We, we've got it engulfed in flames. And uh, we'll shake these out and explain that. Uh, Michael Faraday, 200 years ago, to the youth of London, gave six two-hour evening lectures concerning the candle. And one of the questions he proposed was, why is it that if we take a piece of burnable string and put it down the center of a column of candle wax, instead of it burning readily away, as cloth will do, it is charred black, but remains. Look carefully at the flame. The orange cone is where the fuel of the candle meets the air containing oxygen. And that orange or yellow flame is indicative of burning hydrocarbons. But look closer at the flame and you see there's a cone that's darker inside it. What's it all about? Well, the initial heat melts the wax, it becomes a liquid. The liquid moves up the string by capillary action, that's why we call the wick. It vaporizes and then we need fuel and oxygen for combustion, but only 21% of the air out here is oxygen, the rest is non-combustible nitrogen. The oxygen is used up before it makes it to the string and thereby the string is sitting in a pocket of hot combustible gas. With the cloths, the alcohol vaporized off, the burning was about a millimeter off of the cloth itself. The cloth didn't burn because the oxygen couldn't make it to it to allow for the combustion. 